have a golden albino axolotl female. She is very gravid. I think gravid is the word used for axolotls. She got a lot of eggs. She's about as big around as a golf ball. We've put a couple of our males in with her and tried to get them to breed. Uh, did all the tricks. And she won't breed. She won't take any of my males. I put a couple of them that their hets were lined up with her so that we could get some good babies. It wasn't working. We tried everything. One of the main things is simulating a colder season, dark, light, create daylight and, and night. So I put lights on a timer, nothing worked. Lower the temperature. Now I keep their normal operating temperature about 64 degrees, which is a good thriving temperature for axolotls. Uh, and Goldie just wasn't having it. She wouldn't take any of the males. I tried, tried three males over three weeks trying to help her. I mean, she's puffy. She, she's, she's, open. I've never worried about one being so loaded with eggs that I was worried for her health. So we called a good friend of ours and she overnighted a three-year-old male Mac, which is a uh, male exanthic copper. So I put this Mac in there with her. It, it was to the point to where normally if an axolotl comes into my axolotl room, I will tub them and quarantine them for two weeks. I was so worried about her. She was getting more and more sluggish. I checked everything else. All the other medical conditions that could be going on weren't. Now, when I dropped the temperature, I dropped the temperature to 57 degrees. Colder temperature, colder weather. And as you can see, it worked. King Mac and Goldie did their business. And we got some breeding going on. So this is what breeding looks like with axolotls. He pushes her around the tank like a Macy's Day float. Axolotls will breed by him doing his dance. Uh, if she's not gravid, then he will, he will try to make her gravid by pushing her around or doing a dance for her to get her excited. And then he will lay sperm cones and he will lay them all around the tank or the tub in this case. And she, she will squat over a, a sperm cone and voila, eggs are fertile. After that, she'll wait a little while and she will start laying them and sticking them with goo to absolutely everything. That's why you see all the plants in here is so that she has something to attach her eggs to, to make them easier for us to remove them from the tank. Now, normally axolotls will not lay eggs unless they're fertilized. It has happened, it does happen from time to time, but it's rare, it's really rare. So he did his business. We got a good, good uh, showing of eggs. Most of the eggs, they're white, indicating that they're all going to be albino babies which works for us. We counted 647 eggs over the course of one night. So we had 647 eggs. We don't know yet how viable those are. We will sit and monitor them for the next few days and wait for them to do what's called a bean. That when they start to bean, it's uh, when the embryo starts to form and it re resembles a little bean. That'll pretty much let you know which ones are gonna hatch and which ones aren't. At that point, once once we get to a bean, we wait a couple of days and then we'll remove the ones that didn't bean so that they don't foul the water that the other eggs are in. It's a lot of eggs. We'll update you. If you want to see more content like this, help us grow and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.